In this video, I'll teach you how to open the Enterprise Standard Calendar for editing in either Project Online or Project Server. You know, a couple weeks ago, there was a rookie Project Online administrator who couldn't figure out how to open the Enterprise Standard Calendar for editing. I answered his question in one of the Microsoft public user forums, but thought I'd also create a video to demonstrate this as well. So let's get started. If you want to edit the Enterprise Standard Calendar or create new Enterprise Calendars in Project Online or Project Server, you cannot do that by starting first in Microsoft Project. Let me show you how this works. If I click the Project tab to display the Project ribbon and then I click Change Working Time, Microsoft Project displays the Change Working Time dialog with the Enterprise Standard Calendar selected up at the top, but notice that everything in the dialog is grayed out. All the buttons are disabled. I can't use them. And if I try to add a company holiday, such as Founders Day on March 18th, I can select the date in the calendar grid at the top, but if I try to type, nope, I'm blocked. So you don't start this process from Microsoft Project, but you do need to have Microsoft Project open and connected to PWA. Instead, what you'll need to do is to launch your preferred web browser and navigate to the home page of Project Web App. You'll need to go to the PWA settings page. I want you to notice that I've added a link to the PWA settings page in the Quick Launch menu. If you haven't done that yourself, however, then do this instead. In the upper right corner of the screen, click the Settings menu button. It looks like a gear wheel. And then choose PWA Settings on the menu. On the PWA Settings page, go to the Enterprise Data section and click Enterprise Calendars. On the Enterprise Calendars page, you'll find the Enterprise Standard Calendar plus any custom calendars that you've created. To edit the Enterprise Standard Calendar, select it, and then click the Edit button. You will receive a security warning from the system. That's fine. Click the Yes button. And then the system will open the Enterprise Standard Calendar for editing. You can see that at the top of the dialog. So in the calendar grid, let's go ahead and scroll to March, and I'll select March 18th, which is a company holiday we call Founders Day. So let me go ahead and put in Founders Day. And then let's make this recur for the next five years or so. So this will be a yearly holiday on March 18th. I'll put in five occurrences and click OK. Once I click the OK button, the Project Online or Project Server system will automatically save the changes to the Enterprise Standard Calendar. If you are the application administrator for your organization's Project Online or Project Server instance, you now know how to open the Enterprise Standard Calendar for editing. If you'd like to know how to add your company's holidays to the Enterprise Standard Calendar, or to create new custom calendars as well, please click one of the links below in the comment section for helpful videos on those very subjects. If you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I trust you will. If this video was helpful to you, I hope you'll give it a like. And as always, I'll see you in my next 
video.